This video is brought to you by WP Forms. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to restrict your WordPress forms to logged in users only. This is great if you have, say, a membership site, an online storm, or maybe you have an internet site that you only want registered users to use. So when and why would you want to restrict access to WordPress forms? Well, maybe you're setting up a hosting or private members event and you only want people who have access to RSVP to your site. Maybe you want to restrict access to maybe your support area for members only. You could do that there. Or maybe you're doing an intranet site and you only want your employees to submit a survey or a poll. Those are really good reasons to do that. So I'll show, I'll show you a few different methods that you can do to get this going. Now, the first method we're going to use is by using the WP Forms Lite version. WP Forms is the easiest drag and drop form builder on the market and it lets you create simple contact forms as well as advanced business automations. The first thing you wanna do is head over to your plugins area, go to add new, and we're looking for WP Forms. This is the one we want, so let's go ahead and click install now. You'll also wanna make sure that you stick around to activate it as well. Great, now that it's activated, you'll see this setup here, and you can always go back to WP Forms on the left and create add new. So this is where you want to add the form that you want people to fill out. You can choose from a template or you can start with a blank one. Let's just do the simple contact form to get started. Let's just create something and you can go to fields and change this up however you want. Once you set up your form however you want, let's go ahead and click and save and then we want to embed it on our site and then restrict access. So I'm gonna exit out of there and let's go to a post where we can add a new post, give it a title, go to the block area. And from here, we want to find the WP forms. If you don't see WP forms, you can also go up to the search bar and start typing in WP forms, and then it will pop up. Once we pull it in, we need to select the form that we're using. So we'll do that. And that brings this in. Now our page is ready and to restrict access, you'll want to come over here to document area and under visibility, right now it's showing public, meaning anybody can access it. We actually wanna change that. From here, you can either do private. Now with private, only the site admin and editors can see it, or you can do a password protect. And that way anybody can access it as long as they have the secure password that you have to give them. So there are some functionality of this that will work. It's a little limiting simply because we're using the free version and we're doing a password protect. And then you'll have to give that password out to anybody who you want to have access to this form. So then we can click publish. And then as you view the post, you see that it is password protected. So then they would have to put that in to see it. So you see that there is some limited features of that. But let me show you the next method that takes this up a notch and you don't have to do password protect. It's a great way to showcase some items of the form, but then they won't be able to fill it out unless they have access to it. So in order to do that, you'll want to actually upgrade your WP forms to the paid version. And you can do this quickly and easily by going to WP forms forward slash WP beginner, you'll get your best discount for WP forms. And once you log into your account, simply grab the license key. We'll head back over to WP Forms and we'll go under settings. And with this, we simply want to go to license key, right click, paste the license key in there and connect. And then WP Forms will go out and connect and install the pro version for us that will unlock many of the pro features. So once we do that, comes back here. And now what we need to do is go to the add-ons area Form Locker add-on is what we want. So let's go ahead and install the add-on. And once we install it, it also activates it for us, which is a great feature. Once we've installed this, let's head back over to all forms and let's edit the form that we were working on. I'm gonna click edit. And then under settings, we have a new tab here called Form Locker. And you see where you can do enable password protection for this as well. You can schedule this so that it's only live certain times, which is great if you're had a deadline, say for your employee survey, 
You can entry limit that so the employees can only do, say, one form entry and enable restricting entries to logged in users only. This is what we want to do. So this is the message that you want to set, set up for anybody who isn't logged in. They will see this. So you want to give them some instructions. And now we can click save. Once we save this, we can go back and we can go back to that post that we just created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this not password protected. I'm going to make it public and I'm going to update this. And now when people go here, if they're logged in, they'll see the form, but let me log out and show you what they'll see. But now you see when I'm logged out, I'm not logged into the website anymore. You see this information here where I need to log in before I can fill out the form. And then you can make this as fancy as you need it to for people to log in and see that. And then the final method that I want to show you is perfect if you're running a membership site. And I've even gone into detail on how to set up your own membership site. And you can watch that video from here. But basically, you can set up rules to restrict form access using a membership plugin like MemberPress. So to do that, you'll want to make sure you head over and get MemberPress. Go to memberpress.com to get your MemberPress plugin. Once you download the plugin, you can head back over to plugins area and we'll click add new. And because we've downloaded it from the member press area, you want to upload the plugin. So I'm going to click choose file, upload member press plugin. Go ahead and click install. Now you also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. And then once it's activated, you'll simply want to add your member press license key. You can either go to activation page here, or if you ever need to come back, simply go here on the left, go to member press, go down to activate. And from here, we can paste in the license key to activate it. Once you install and set up member press, you have to decide who all gets access to what. So for instance, the employee form, which could also be simply a support ticket form, maybe only paid people get access to that. So I want to set up a tag called paid. And then we want to go back to member press and we want to set up a quick rule that says only people who have paid have access to these posts. And I want to set up a new rule. So I'm going to go down here and say basically all content tagged as paid will give them access to the members who have purchased at least the gold area. So at least the gold area, they'll have access to that post that they'll have access to that form and then they can submit that form. And then you can do so much more with the member press area. And those are three separate methods on how to restrict your WordPress forms to logged in users only.